but yeah. Are you gonna do like the main spiel or? Yeah, I think I'll, I can handle the introduction. Okay. Right? Yeah. I'm gonna start in five. Hello, hello, everyone, and welcome back to week four of the Inter Uni Ulti Trio Tournament, brought to you by the Australian Uni Team Fortress Discord and community. Tonight we have a match on Ulti Duo Furnace B2. Uh, I'm Darwin, aka Symbol, on production and casting tonight, joined by my lovely co host. Please introduce yourself. Hello, hello. I'm Mega Monster, and I'll be co casting today. Super swag. Now, I'll wait a bit before we get the full players on each team, because we're just missing one player each, but we were just discussing this map being relatively new and more or less untested in terms of ulti duo, well, rather ulti trio. Uh, I believe this is a developmental slash untested map for the NA scene, and as for us here, in Australia, we played it once when we were trialing some new maps to put in the tournament. But yeah, Mango, what do you think about this map? Well, I think it looks a lot like Baloo. <laughs> Very true. It's got that nipple, doesn't it? Oh. Yes, and you'll see, if you look around the sides of the map, there are a lot of high bomb angles. And a lot of walls. And when we played this scrim previously, we did notice that reality. Being that if you are a soldier, you will be landing double bombs. Or rather, you know, sink rockets. Not double bombs, there's only one soldier. You will be getting chases. You will be getting spam. And you will most definitely be fighting for that mid-ground. I wonder with... As like easy as it, is, as it is to do high bombs in this map, and with how open and large the space is, it will we see um gunboats be used more often than a shotgun? That's a very good point, especially since, like we have seen previously, some teams have found a lot of success by increasing their bomb power, and on maps where perhaps getting the extra DPS is more of a priority. Because there isn't any walls to jump off of to begin with, that might be better. But yeah, well, we are getting posse in here. So I do think I will begin introductions for the mega team name team. So let me queue up my music here. For mega team name. Now, they've got a pretty interesting song. In the blue corner, we have tonight Mega Team Name from Mount Ash. One of the strongest teams thus far in this tournament, if not the one poised to win it all. Now they are playing a little bit of ulti duo to prepare. Nice warm up, but here we have Sakuso and Soldier. We got Arbaf on the Medic. And we have Posse on the Scout, apparently. Now I do believe they will be rolling and... We were saying earlier how they actually got Posse on Soldier for the wheel spin roll. Uh, I hope that is not a reality, because that would be a bit mean. Because putting Posse on Soldier is akin to coughing baby versus hydrogen bomb. But yes. Although, I mean, with the uh, roster being how it is, I think it's uh, kind of difficult to avoid that. That's true. No shade to Iwi White, but more of a testament to just how strong and how much of an absolute unit each player on the team name team is. Now that said, let's not talk down to the AUE team, because they've been making quite a showing in their fights here, clawing a win and getting some really close matches here against some of the other teams. They're one of the newest teams, most inexperienced teams. I believe Sicy, aka Tayer, aka Trashicat, has maybe 100 hours in the game, which is ridiculous for someone playing at her level. And I do have to applaud her. But yes, red corner, we have AUE White from Adelaide University, or University of Adelaide. I actually don't know which one comes first, and I've been messing it up every single week. Now, we got 
the aforementioned Sacy on the Medic. We have Anua on, I believe, the Soldier tonight, though I do believe we've seen Anua playing Scout previously. And not here yet, but I do believe we have Woxy, who will be joining very soon to round out the AUE White team. Now, they've been playing pretty well, and Tyre especially has been itching for those pugs and scrims, really demonstrating a need and desire to improve. And yeah, I would not discredit Anua or Waxi from getting some cool shots, some cool plays tonight, especially since this is a map of which both teams are relatively unfamiliar with. So really the ball is in their court. I think they can definitely make something happen, but they will have to try their best. But speaking from experience, and speaking from what we've seen from both teams so far, I do predict a 2-0 victory for team name. Yeah, I think it's pretty hard to disagree with that prediction. Yes. It's a bit rough. Yeah. Because, you know, the map knowledge gap is a double-edged blade, you know? While team name hasn't played this map much, neither has the AUE white team. And that means it may just come down to fundamentals. And with a huge gap in DM and hours played, it's going to be really, really hard. But hey, we're here to have fun. We're here to make plays. We're here to make shit happen. And if this ulti duo match in the warm-up is anything to show, I think we have some exciting shots tonight because Anua is showing out and rocking out with that rocket launcher and Scott gun. I nearly said scatter gun. Oopsies. But yeah, with the introductions out of the way, we are just waiting on our final player to join the game. That being, of course, Woxy. Now, originally the match was scheduled for 9 p.m., but I do believe both teams would like to get this game out of the way ASAP. Not sure what's happening here, but I will just check with the players to see what's happening here. Though they might not respond because they are playing right now in the warm-up. Uh... While we wait for Oxy to come in, let's do the state mandated drip check. Alright, let's start with the red team, AoE White, shall we? Uh, I'm looking at Stacey. She's got mandatory attire, the specs, and the optic nerve. Not a very common hat, that one. It's got a couple pretty cheap, unusual effects, but yeah, got a wacky mix up. A bit of a crazy doctor thing going on. You can't actually see the uh, professor specs. Uh, it's like kind of melting. I think he's just in. putting a little paper clip on the bridge of the nose. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> actually, bridge I see it honestly, now. Honestly, it's pretty cool. That does go kind of hard. I'm not gonna lie. Maybe I was uh, underestimating the drip. I am uneducated in the ways. Yeah, no, you can definitely see it. Never mind. It's like bugging out the glasses. And we got an Uwa. Of course. Ooh, got the. Uh... Also with the mandatory attire. Yes, this is their team drip. And uh, got that Australian gold. Very nice. Oh, got a Cerno doesn't want. What was that? Cerno doesn't want to be a chick tendy. I see. I do believe Anua is a big Toho person. Got that fly high. Got that. Ooh. I see they use the Dragon Slayer on their shotgun. Can you guys hear me? Good drip. Yes. And got an Ironwood Mark II. I'm about to say the N word. Okay, I'm okay. Uh, I apologize to anyone watching the stream for what Posse just said. That's it. No one watches these vods except the players themselves. So if you're watching this Posse, fuck you. Uh, <laughs> I'm kidding. <laughs> uh, yeah, the trip, shall we? Yeah, this is a nice look. Pretty unique, actually. I haven't seen this combination. I actually have never seen these shoulder pauldrons or whatever they're called. Uh, yeah, neither, I don't think. Yeah, it's interesting. And also, that rock launcher, what must have not been cheap, it's got a specialized effect, I think, right? Uh, yeah, spe uh, specialized killstreak rock launcher. That's pretty trippy. I'm an agonizing emerald enjoyer myself. I don't remember if you're a mean green person or not. Uh, uh my Skagun's AE. Oh, okay. Because I, I, I know if you've, you've got the, uh, the um what's the color called it's like that light green going on with their scout yeah 
It's, um, the paints are indubitably green. Indubitably green, yes. That is the classic, but Agonizing Emerald is, you know, it's, it's fucking, it's hot. It's a hot, hot, hot look. Anyways, looking at the red team here, we got Posse with what appears to be a full set of horns. That's pretty fucking good. I, I have noticed Posse does, like, um, weird drip with his, like, bird soldier. And now his horn scout got the uh, <laughs> brimstone <laughs> skull island topper and the horrible horns. Very, very impressive. And looking at Arbath. All right. Very classic look. Now Arbath's got the mean green with the uh, indubitably green mask. And of course. Bunny Hopper's Ballistic Vest, and the Sturgeon Stalheim. Very classy looks. One of them literally being from Team Fortress Classic. I do believe that chess is a reference to the TFC Classic Medic. So, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Pretty, pretty cool. Got that mean green sheen with that Uber saw, or sorry, Uber, that's how it's called, Medigun. Oh, this is strange as well. Damn, damn, damn. And of course, we have Sakaso, very classical stock everything. I, I would like to bring attention to Sakuso's steam inventory. Or rather <laughs> yes. Yeah, his uh not inventory, his yeah, inventory yes, but also his uh profile page. Because he's displayed a couple Steam items, specifically TF2 items, all of them being unique, not strange, not anything special, but they've renamed it to the actual team weapon itself or weapon name. So he has, for example, an original called the Original, among other great offenders. So you know what? Power to him. I guess he's got that default but not quite thing going on. You know, a bit deceptive. Yeah, pretty, pretty swag. I am going to exec here just so they can actually play Soptium instead of whatever the hell they're doing right now. Uh, Archon, LT Trio, match. Go. Uh, I can see the Sakaso Scout Drip. Yes. Let's take a <laughs> Oh, yeah. Sakaso Scout Drip is actually a bit of drip. It's got that, you know, that cute hat, open badge, season 34. And, of course, a uh, tie as well. Mandatory tie is very, very common. But, yeah. I, I'm just going to check the chat because I think Sicey said if no one's messages by now, I'm going to call it. I will ask, would you like a Merc? Mangle and I can play and force the other to solo cast. <laughs> uh, I'm kidding. Preferably would like someone in the Merc channel to actually play, but we'll have to see. Also, I would not make you solo cast, Mangle. I, I would just uh, get you to play and I would just stream. Um, hopefully it doesn't have to yes, come down you. to it. <laughs> yes. <laughs> the Mangle solo cast would the be a little Mangle bit grim. Hey, it's not bad. Comes. It's not bad! I saw you cast with Tayer, like, on the Grove. That was pretty good. You did a good job. I have faith. Uh, yeah. Let's just see. <laughs> the player cast. Yeah. From chat. <laughs> I like that idea. Honestly, that could go hard. I'm not gonna <laughs> lie. <laughs> uh, that would be fucking... That would be so dumb. I mean, I'm not opposed that that could be funny. But would prefer having a proper merc. All right, uh, I will, oh, I got, yes, it appears, it appears Tayer has asked for a Merc. I will wait a few seconds. We'll wait like a minute or two, then I will play for your team. Don't call it off. My, I recommend that we just play it instead. Never mind. Karu just messaged. Oh my, Karu, the goat. Pog champion. We love Karu. Let's go, Karu. Of course, being from, I believe, the sussy... No, 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 no. The Omesa Capybara Swankers. Am I correct? Let me... Uh, yes. Yes, very swag. I've messed it up before, so I'm just very <laughs> cautious. Yes, it up every single time. <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> No, I did, I did mess it up. If they're from Monchash, what am I saying? 
God damn it. Okay, I'm so sorry, Karu. Look, there are four teams from Melbourne. It's easy to mess it up. <laughs> okay. Actually, there aren't four teams from Melbourne. There are like six teams saying, from Melbourne. Dude. There's like eight teams from Melbourne. There's four teams from Monash and Melbourne Uni. Okay, that's what's messing me up. They're both blue. They're both blue. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, we got See, Karu. And go Melbourne. <laughs> God damn it. And then Capybara Swankers. Yes. Well, I believe Karu is a medic player. But, uh, I think they played other classes too. So I don't think they're lacking in any facilities. I will message Karu with the actual address. Let me send it to him. Did he change his name? Huh. I think he did. Hold on. Let me let me get this together. Yes, here we go. All right. Now, one more weird detail about this map is that behind the spawn rooms, there are these weird backyard areas. Yeah. I am utterly perplexed by it. I don't think they open normally. I, I swear they don't. They serve no purpose except to give you a look at the trains, I guess. That's kind of neat, I suppose. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe you can hide there to prevent getting farmed in post-game or post-round. Yeah, and you'll notice there's like a different backyard for a beach team. Like the red team has a bigger one with like a bit of gravel and shit. Yeah. The blue team just has a like, little square. I, I don't know what's going on there, but you know what I do know what's going on is one important thing to mention with this map is that there's a big window with a shutter door over it that does open and give you a sight line into how the teams are holding. And this is a commonality with many ulti trio ulti duo maps, just to make sure that you can see where teams are holding. Because if a team is holding up here on this wall and you come out the right side, or the left side rather, depending which way you're facing, you will just die, because that's just a downward angle against a soldier, of which you can only hit by hitting a direct shot. So, not ideal. But yeah, I do believe Karu is hopping in. Swag money. I am interested in seeing what class they will be playing. Interestingly, Silent also offered to Merc. Uh... But we do got Karu the goat in here. So that should be fun. Okie dokie. Well, I do expect the game to go underway whenever. <laughs> we have Team Posse versus Team Iwi White. And uh, I do believe. Uh, Arbaf, no, Sakuso was pulling her leg there. They have Sakuso on Soldier, Three, not Posse. Alright, let's see what both teams opt to do here. Okay, taking different paths. Blue team rolling out with crits here. Ooh. Crits has team proven just strong. Stop. Yeah. Look at that damage onto the right here, onto the combo. That was very separated. Oh, another Did huge you manage to group up, but do get farmed pretty heavily with spam. Yes. Good stuff anyway, though. Oh, very notably. Oh! Yes. Damn! Cleaning up! Getting a double K and also equalizing that Uber. Well done, Aniwa. Yes, that's very important. Stopping the crit snowball Seriously? before it even happens. Now Karu taking this high ground, as Sakaso jumps in, but Karu doesn't see him, just gets shotgun down. Red team is separated somewhat, with no beam. They do manage to regroup here. But Sakaso's bombed in. Did she get the resub? No. Oh. No resub. So Posse picks up a kill. Now you see they're holding this fence here again. The wall, rather. Oh, it's out. Does appear to be getting a decent flank, but... 
the flank was unsuccessful. And now, Sisi is going in for a saw. <laughs> Look at this Uber ad. Not looking good here for the first round. Team name Not has complete all. control. Yeah. Let's see if red team can organize this sack wave. And we do see the team trailing out, but no jump from Kairu. As he gets picked off. Unfortunate. Red team taking a look through the window to see what's going on. Seeing they're holding left and choosing to come out the right. Very smart. There we go. Now they've gotten some space. Ooh, good damage. Very good damage. Nice job, Let anyway. see the soldier coming down. Oh! And they dropped a the medic. No crits for them. There goes the ad. Our bath might have been milking just a bit too long. This red team captured point. Red team does take the point. Yeah, and they're holding it pretty well here too. Sakaso bombs in. Retaking control of the nipple. <laughs> the pan is out! <laughs> and the Uber is out as well! Good job! They need to kill the med here! Need to aggress! Yeah, they need to make sure they make use of it. And they do. Yeah, they do. They do. Solid work. Posse oh, soldiers up now. Posse managed to sneak that cap. Wow. Yeah, the posse's move movement. Slippery like an egg. As they lost their soldier, Ewe White do manage to retake that point though. But yeah, the two v three. They're still on the crits here. Alright. Will they check for vision again? Looks like they decide oh. to risk it for the biscuit. Splitting their aggression here, a two pronged attack. Oh. Mm. Karu does get focus fired as Aniwa gets picked off shortly afterwards, leaving Sisi to die by the shotgun. Thanks, Doc. <laughs> what yeah, is... I'd be interested in seeing. Hearing what the plan was with these sorts of um split aggression plays in the interviews. Yeah. yeah. I was going in for the medic, but does not quite get that. Mm. The pan's out again. As anyone runs away. Living quite long here though. But does get picked off eventually with a staggered death. Not too good for AoE White. What is Posse doing? He is getting bodied. Taunt to get bodied. True combo, by the way. As Karu bombs in. He does get air shot. As the crits do come out. But too little, too late. However, Arbav is swinging. And nice saw from Sisi. <laughs> Not going to have any of that. Some pretty big Uber ad, although Posse is stalling out the calf. Yet again, impossible to hit. Extremely. Look at this guy! What the hell? He does pick off Karu as well. Now with the medic back up. Ooh. What is oh, this and the BM? Big from Arbav. All right, that's it. Team name is now banned from the tournament going forward. One more billion infraction points. <laughs> Disqualified from the next 30 tournaments. Oh no, what are they gonna do? Mission ends in 30 seconds. Again, Posse's just taunting in front of the door. I think he's trying to get a fucking PUBG like peak angle. I no think so, it? yes. Oh, but the low ground. Karu trying to salvage something, taking control of the point. Just unable to match the other team. The crits do get popped. 
Arbath padding his stats, Sing my H right now. Saisi is coming in, trying to get something. Does get a cheeky solid, but first round will go to Posse's credit card. Wait, that's what that is. <laughs> okay. Oh! <laughs> Oh, the funny numbers, the back, and the expiration date, and the actual number. <laughs> well, everyone, write that down. <laughs> write that down now. Oh, that's oh, hilarious. Good double air shot from Sakaso. I was too busy laughing to fully capture that on the camera. My bad. Because I was in the server beforehand, right, and I saw... Sakaso's name, and I was like, oh, is that like tomorrow's lottery numbers or something? And he just said, <laughs> you'll see. Wait, what? What? Oh, um... Wait, how did he... Is in wait, 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 how did that happen? Wait, what the fuck just happened? This is... Huh? Well, the crit is out. Really oh, okay. Wait, how... Wait, did you see how that happened? N no. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, is there just not a block on the door? I, I think Posse... Uh, I guess there just isn't a block on that door, huh? Yeah, huh. Interesting. Oh, nice job, Kyra, getting a double kill on the team standing in front of the door. Looks like they got to win the point of that. Good stuff. Amidst the chaos, AUE White regained the round. Now, honestly, last um, round wasn't like that bad from them, honestly. They did get some pretty good fights. They capped the point. They got an Uber off. So I think if they keep playing it out like they did, they can have a chance. Team I, who's asking if it works on voice form. I don't know if AUE White want to fuck around I'm and find sure out. Yeah. After. Play the fucking game. Yes. I agree with Sicy sentiment. Just play the damn game. Leave the hijinks for later. Nice pick. Nice posse is uh, in. Going into equalize and does get there. That's good. Can I win the scout one v one though? Posse v and Uwo. And oh, does get airballed. Unfortunate. Is that Raph assassin coming out? He is a couple thousand hour scout after all. Yeah, Anoa has been doing very exceptionally well with equalizing these fights and getting quite a number of kills as well, so well done. Yeah, but... definitely. Uh, Slicey going down to some spam now, I'm lucky. Unfortunate. And a whip onto Anoa. Yeah, Anoa very nearly taking down the soldier there. True. With the medic taking them. I'm just not seeing a lot of bombs from Karu, and I, I'm beginning to suspect it's just uh, out of unfamiliarity with the map and also how to jump itself. Mm. Yeah, you do see that sometimes from, um, I suppose, less confident soldiers. Oh yeah. When they're up with their rocket jumping. Oh, they do get the crits. Oh no. Unfortunate. Perhaps picking up the medic in these scenarios is real important against the crits team, because while AUE White did manage to kill off a soldier using their focus fire. They did get wiped afterwards. Uh, Sicey unfortunately getting caught out in front of the team. Nice. Focus fire here. They might get the wipe. Very good. And they do. Good shit. Sicey back up. Good heals. Things are looking good. Oh. oh. Direct rocket. Don't quite manage to heal up before Saxo comes back in. But they need to reconnect this beam here. No heal percent Ooh. right now. You hate to see that. Oh. Oh. Just not being aware of where your teammates are just spelled disaster there for AoE White. But a good hold attempt, at the very least. The As Sakaso stands up on the wall. He does spot it before walking out the spawn door. Although, many again scan that out left side. Let's see what Kari can do here, they're not looking at him. They are not. 
But again, I, I'm not sure if the strategy of shooting long-range rockets with a slow-moving projectile that does 40 damage would really help your team here. That's the type no. of scenario where a bomb would be most beneficial, but again... Yeah, I really wanted to see a bomb there. Just a matter of unfamiliarity, I suppose. Nothing that can be done about it. His soldier is quite drippy, though, I will say. Oh, yeah. Are you taking this point? A connoisseur of the default player. <laughs> I respect it. Nice. Our red team surviving the crits? They are. They might be able to equalize this. They are looking quite low, though. And will succumb to the damage classes of team name. So a minute 30 left on this clock. Let's see what happens here. No air shots. Karu is left alone. As Aniwa and Saisi are left fighting for themselves. But again, we've seen Aniwa get some desperate picks in this scenario, so... They are living. But the Uber ad is closing rapidly with that rapid crits for build rate. The first bomb from Karu, very nice! But does get shut down by Posse, who is very familiar with denying soldiers. But Anima does pick off the soldier. Good stuff. Not getting the cap, though. Posse going very low with the soldier up. Nice. And does go down. Although, the crits does come out. But Red Team are spread out enough. Very, very well played. That was impressive from AoE White. Just playing safe, playing defensive. Karu bombing in multiple times for that support play, especially at the end there with that pop on the crits. Well done. I would have liked Sysi. Very, very well played from AoE yes. White there. And a nice bomb from Karu. Huge damage onto the medic. This might be what they need. Just reconnect that beam and play that high ground. Unfortunately, they do get picked off. Sicy gets Sicy. out though! Oh my god! She makes it in. Good stuff. Here we go. Blue team are playing split here. Mm. Let's see if they can collapse on Posse before the soldier comes in. And they do. 2v3. Nice jump from Karu. Big damage onto the combo. Going for the medic, shotgun's out, but the crits does come! And it will wipe. So I do believe it is GG. As the cap time... ...fizzles out. Bringing it to a 2-0 victory for Posse's credit card. AKA team name. Yeah. Damn, that was really not too bad at all from EOE White. I'm frankly very impressed by how they played there. That was Yeah, those were some good. fantastic plays coming out there towards the end especially. No cap, no kizzy. I sense these players have a lot to look forward to in the coming days in the TF2 comp scene. Yeah, let's look at the kills here. As expected, a dominant performance from team name. 34 kills on pa or Sakaso, 28 from Posse. 10k damage to Sakaso, well done. But like we said, Anna, Anua, doing very well for herself. 7k damage, 19 kills, and I think they killed the med seven times? No, three times. Very well done. And Saisi managing to squeak out two Ubers despite the aggressive hold from team name and their use of the Chris Creek, so well done on that survivability where you could. Wow, was that really eight Chris Creek uses? That felt like way less. It did feel like less. We did kind of see them at like desperate moments where they were down a player. And Red Team did a, do a pretty good job of living through them. Yeah. We did see a lot of clutchness from Anua and Saisi particularly regarding that, right, where they hold on to the uber, they're building, they're living out the crits, dodging and weaving, and then popping in the last second to wipe, and then killing off the medic and the team, just like you should. So good execution on that team plan. Well done to both teams. Let's get some interviews in.
Yo, hello. Hello, hello. GG's, GG's. Hey. Good game. Good game, everyone. Thank you so much for being the first team to play this shit map. <laughs> Yeah. Uh, yeah, it was a uh, yeah, well. on there. Oh, yeah, now, what did you want to try? Did you want to try the, like, uh, do you want to just, like, hit the, the oh. ready up again? Yeah, the, the try, door, like, um, let's see. Yeah, door. we need to, we need to ready up because in Soap DM, like, the doors are open for both sides, I think. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. Let's see what happened here because we did not encounter this problem when we were testing this map. And frankly, this is one of the more well achieved ones. They like the geometry, but I wasn't even paying attention. When so what is it? We just like we saw inside. someone in the other ah, spot. Uh, Maybe it's the other door. Yeah. Other it, was door the other door. it was the other door. It was the other door. No. Wait, I'm a blue by the way. Maybe I'll block you. Well, it was a blue player in the red spawn, so it might be the other yeah. side. It was the blue player. In the it red might spawn. just be that one door. Maybe. All right. Uh, somebody, <laughs> somebody, kill mine and see if I can get into the other door. Yeah. yeah. Wait, let's do some experimentation here. <laughs> I, I was so confused. Because all of a sudden we just see Posse in the red spawn, and we were yeah, it was so weird. Like, <laughs> I, I was like, hey, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna W key into this one. So hopefully I can get a kill. Yeah, right, get in. Oh my God. <laughs> yeah. Nice. Does the other door work? Yeah. What about the main door? Um. Uh, Come inside. Welcome. Welcome. Uh, nice. <laughs> nice. Just rest one. Okay. Good fucking yeah. map, guys. Excellent work. We're having this map. Okay. Next join blue. Rock paper scissors. Okay. Well, <laughs> now. Okay, we may need to implement a blanket ban on doing that as a map yeah. exploit. Apologies to A.B. Wyatt and team name for having it's to okay. experiment there. But I do want to talk about the performance there because, as expected, a 2 0 decisive victory okay. for team name. But we gotta say. AUE White, that was a fight. That was very well done. You guys executed a game plan and you lived those crits, you popped those Ubers, especially anyone. Gotta give congratulations for salvaging fights that looked horrible. Yeah, there were there were yeah, fights you, where Anna was like alive for like it felt like minutes, just like two v three, like against all odds, where we just live it. Yeah. Very rough. This guy name is good. That's yeah, true. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, Sometimes I know what just kind of fucks your fuck ads. You kind of just ruin the. Yes, and you you do have to realize, you know, despite Posse being a slippery snake and being nigh unkillable with a double jump, you already you've seen his medic movement. Let's not talk about his fucking scout movement. Uh, the fact that you guys were able to chase him down when you could and pick him off is not to be underestimated. That was a well done. Yeah, God no, I. I missed so many shots on the scow, I was just oh, panicking the whole yes. time. That's yeah. Most of this match I spent with like my clips empty. That's all good, that's all <laughs> yeah. good. Y'all did well. Also, Karu! Really would have loved to see more bombs from you in the early game, because you were bombing in the last round there very well, getting big damage on the combo. And that's just yeah. what your team needed. And I understand you play Medic for your team, right? Um, no, Soldier. You play Soldier. Sorry, sorry, sorry. I, I just saw your drip and it doesn't look familiar, my bad. Uh, yeah, you just want to make sure you capitalize on aggression, because many times I saw you coming out of a flank door while your team went for a two-prong attack. In that scenario, you don't want to be shooting 40 damage rockets across the map. You want to be bombing. Okay. And that's what you did in the last round, and that's where you guys found success. But thank you so much, Karo, for clutching up and showing up tonight in place yeah, of Loxy. Huge, huge shout-out to Karo. Just... Excellent, excellent what a gamer. Job. Yes. You'll go practice for our old match yeah. anyway. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, yeah, yeah. so true actually. I think the, the baby Monash team. Let's, no, let's, let's go. Now, I would like to bring it in the corner of team name real quick. Oh, uh, what the fuck is that team name? <laughs> We That's really funny. Because we didn't realize <laughs> until the start of round two. <laughs> <laughs> and unfortunately, <laughs> yeah. what, through the whole mid fight, yeah. we were just laughing too hard. We missed that air <laughs> shot. We only caught the tail end of that double. Dude, oh, it's okay. I could have it for Sakasaw. Sakasaw, he's a little bit younger on Soldier. Very nice. Impressive, impressive. But yeah, use of the crits. I like to see it. Apparently, that's meta in NA. So, fun fact. Um, Yeah, good job, Wybath. Good job, Posse. And good job, Sakasaw, for that win. But I don't want to bring it back to AoE wide. 
How do you feel about this game? Like, generally? I think that the, although the circumstances were a little rough, and I'm sorry that it took so long for it all to come together, but I'm happy um, that we, you know, showed up eventually and, and you know, gave it our best. And I'm, I'm uh, very appreciative, again, to Quaru for, for murking for us. Yeah, so, yeah. Like, no I, I, Thank you so much. Yeah. Thank you, Kaoru. Mm, I got to fight my seniors, and I am now even more scared of them than I originally was. <laughs> You'll be oh, fine, yeah. Karo. Oh, it's all fun and games, bro. It's all fun and games. <laughs> yeah. Well, bringing it over also, to team. Also, oh, go on, go on. Um, has anybody? Okay, okay, okay. Slightly controversial question. Is this the first time that anybody has murked that isn't fish? Uh, I've murked before. Yeah, pussy murked. Mangle, mangle murked. Yeah. Mangle mangle mangle. Mangle. Okay, okay. Because uh, last time, last week, when I asked this question, if wasn't i believe fish yes. is still the only person to have murked yes so fish the scared. young goat might as well yeah. be a permanent member of the tape team at this point <laughs> but yes thank you yeah. very much to both teams uh team name would you like to share any words on that match uh very sorry for the bm yeah. <laughs> it's okay uh 15 fraction yeah, points most of the bm was kind no. of no yeah like I, I was so fucking surprised like I, I just like yelled like are they fucking taking the piss <laughs> yeah, I gotta say, asking to check the exploit mid game, not a good luck, guys. Yeah, maybe, maybe not. <laughs> Sorry, we were just a little bit flabbergasted, bro. I'm not yeah, yeah, fair yeah, enough. Totally I was, 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 was yeah. kind of even keen to see a scout now, spot, that's all I'm gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> Definitely, I'll panic as well, um, man. Definitely, you're not supposed to be in there. <laughs> Why are yeah, you no, here? I... You're the wrong color. Yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. good well, stuff. Oh, go so on. You go first, no, no, you go, you go. I'm yapping. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, honestly, we've all played my uh, AUE, man. So all of you guys have played Revo. You guys have played. Yeah. So, Revo played. Yeah, cheers, bro. Thank you very much. Swag money. Well, this was the first round of Doc. No, a furnace on this week. This is the semi final week. We have another one for the last remaining round the following week. Uh, look forward to more Dockport. Look forward to more Furnace. Hopefully without any exploits. Uh, we have matches coming up. Uh, we have a ANU match on Thursday between Griffith and ANU at 7.30. We also have yeah, Umista yeah. Capybara yeah. Swankers versus Griffith again, 8.30, yeah. and A. Wheat will be returning for yeah. another match against yeah. the Umista Capybara Swankers at 9 p.m., so do look yeah. forward to those. Yeah. Um, yeah. Would either team like to share any shout-outs before we cap out the stream for tonight? Yeah. Um, Shout-out. Um, yeah. Shout-out. Yeah. Shout-out to, uh, shout uh, shout to, uh, shout to Stimble for giving us the, the down-low on the map before the game started. Yes. <laughs> Appreciate I, that. I did see you guys using the window to not die to the fence camping and whatnot. Yeah, That's yeah. very good. Yeah, no, we, we, noticed, a... we noticed like the other team was like very much committing to one side or the other, so we just tried to go on the opposite side quite often. Very swag. And we also saw Posse committing to taunting in a corner to get a peek. Yeah, no, I, 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 oh, yeah, I saw yeah. that. And... Is that how it happened? I don't know, but Sicey definitely was not having any of that shit getting a free Uber saw. <laughs> So <laughs> yeah, that was uh, that was a bit of a misplay by me. That was funny though. I, I don't seem to be able to peek through it. It's a bit of a silly strat, but it can work, except for the fact that the team can hear you going, "Woo!" So <laughs> not the greatest. But yes, thank you so much, everyone, for playing tonight. This was AOE White versus Team Name on Ultimate Duo Furnace B2, and I'm Darwin, aka Symbol, joined tonight by the lovely Mangle Monster. And we'll be seeing y'all soon for tomorrow. More matches, more ulti trio, more hijinks. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.